Hello guys, we are embarking on a journey to solve Nordwest Regional Mock 2023 Pure Math with Mechanics Paper 3 equations. So in this video, we are going to begin with the very first question and um, we are going to solve only that question. In the other videos, we are going to be solving one question per video, but if some questions are a little bit shorter, we are going to combine two questions per video. So stay tuned as you watch. Alright, so like I said, in this video, we are going to be solving just question 1 and it has been displayed to you already. So I'm going to read the question and then we have the solution together. So the question reads, the position vector of a particle P at time t seconds with respect to the origin is given by arrow equal to that. A, find the velocity vector of, of the particle P at time t. B, find the speed of P during the third second of its motion. C, find the acceleration vector of P at time t. D, Find the time or the times at which the velocity of the particle P is perpendicular to its acceleration. And finally, locate the particle P at these um, um, different times that you are found in, in question D. Okay, so this question is on kinematics of particles and I um, want you to pay keen attention to the solution. Alright, so we are going to solve every part of the equation. We are going to see the concepts being tested and um, from there we are good to go all right so let's begin with the very first part of the equation which is asking us to get the velocity vector of the particle at time t seconds so we need to know that the velocity of the particle at time t seconds is the first derivative with respect to t of its position vector so differentiating the position vector with respect to time we get the velocity vector at time t seconds so we just need to differentiate this and we differentiate this and your answer is going to be in meters per second because you're differentiating with respect to time so differentiate t squared plus one we get 2t that's in the i component we differentiate t cubed minus 2t we get 3t squared minus 2 in the j component meters per second we are done with that now the b part is asking us to find the speed of the particle during the third second of its motion you should realize that the equation did not ask you to get the speed of the particle after 3 seconds. It says, find the speed of the particle during the third second of its motion. So you need to use the um, relationship that, first of all, the speed of a particle is simply the magnitude of its velocity. Because the velocity is a vector, but the speed is a scalar. So getting the speed of the particle during the third second of the motion is a difference between the velocity is the is the the magnitude of the difference between the velocity of the particle after three seconds and the velocity after two seconds so we need to get the velocity after three seconds we get the velocity after two seconds we get the difference it gives us the velocity during the third second of its motion then we take the absolute we take the magnitude to get the speed so the velocity after three seconds is gotten by replacing c to be three we get six ti plus um 25 j if you simplify correctly the velocity after two seconds is is gotten by replacing t to be two we get 40 i plus um 10 j meters per second now the difference between um these two guys here is just 6 i minus 4 i which is 2 i 25 j minus 10 j which is 15 j meters per second but since we need that speed we need to take the up the, the magnitude of our um of our velocity okay and the magnitude is the square root of the sum of the squares of the i and the j components so 2 squared is 4 15 squared is 225 adding the 2 we get the square root of 229 meters per second so this is the speed of the particle during the dead second of its motion let us proceed now the next question is asking us to get the acceleration vector so to get the acceleration vector we either take the second derivative of the, the 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 position vector or we take the first derivative of the velocity vector so we are just going to use dv by dt since we already know um what v is okay so our acceleration vector is equal to dv by dt and getting dv by dt is simply differentiating this 2ti plus 3t squared minus 2 okay so differentiating that with respect to t is going to be in meters per second squared and not meters per second so um here we are supposed to have meters per second squared okay we differentiate 2t we get 2 we differentiate 
3t squared minus 2 we get 60 meters per second squared that's the acceleration vector now the next question is asking us to find the time or the times at which the velocity of the particle is perpendicular to its acceleration now since the velocity and the acceleration are both vectors for them to be perpendicular then their dot product is supposed to give you zero their dot product giving you zero it means that you just do the dot product normally the velocity vector we write it in the column form you have 2t and 3t squared minus 2 the acceleration vector in column form is 2 and 60 we do the dot product and equate to zero now doing the dot product is equivalent to multiplying the i and the j components and adding them together so we multiply we get 2t times 2 is 40 3t squared minus 2 times 60 is um 18t cubed minus 12t we equate it to zero we can take 40 minus 12t to give us negative 80 we factorize it and then we equate each quantity to zero so 2t will give us zero and uh, 90 squared minus 4 giving us zero means that t squared is equal to 4 or 9 when 2t equals to zero it means t is zero and then since t is a positive value we are just going to take the positive square root of 4 divided by 9 which is 2 divided by 3 so at t equal to 0 and at t equal to 2 on 3 the velocity and the acceleration are always perpendicular to each other and finally we need to use this time um this time 0 seconds and 2 on 3 seconds to locate the the the, the particle p so locating the particle is simply asking you to find the position vector of the particle so let us begin with um t equal to zero when t equal to zero simply we have that our arrow is equal to zero squared plus one plus zero cube minus zero okay so you just have i then meters now i'm going to leave you to find when t equal to two divided by three just need to come here and replace t with two divided by three you add you get the i component you replace t to be two divided by three subtract with two times um two divided by three you simplify and then you get the j component you add the two and you locate your particle all right so thank you guys for watching like i said the next video is going to be solving question number two so stay tuned for that next video thank you for watching once more and see you in the next video